Okay, so now what we want to do is actually uh, create some kind of suffix because if we, for example, returned one result, uh, we want this to say one result. If we were to return two results, we want this to say two results. So we need to create a suffix variable uh, in order to set this uh, to either an S or nothing. So hopefully this makes sense. It's just something I always do to maintain some kind of structure to a sentence. So suffix is going to be equal to, uh, we're using a short if statement. So if result count, um, we're going to say doesn't equal 1, then we want suffix to equal s, otherwise we want it to equal nothing. So for example, if the result count is 1, uh, we want to uh, show an s. Uh, sorry, no, if the uh, result count is equal to 1, uh, or is equal to say 2, uh, we want to create suffix or put the value s into suffix, otherwise we don't need an s. So that's just a little bit, little bit of logic there to think about. So now we want to uh, just echo out how many results have been returned. So I'm going to go ahead and say your uh, search for, and then in here we're going to place the search term, returned uh, an amount of results and it's not result because we need to just go ahead and apply the suffix there. So uh, this will pick up the s or not and apply it just onto the end of result. So your search for, let's go ahead and append on uh, a value here and this is search term and returned something results will be result count. So now this is going to return or echo your search for and the search that's currently in, or the value that's currently inside of the input field returned and we're going to dynamically obviously update this every time the user types something uh, and then we've already spoken about the suffix. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, wrap this in paragraph tags. So we can go ahead and test this and this line will work, it will return uh, an amount of results. So I'm going to go and test this with CH and that's contained within Manchester and Chorley. So we should receive uh, two results. So let's go ahead and test this, CH, uh, we don't get a uh, value back so why is that? Uh, let's just go and have a look. Uh, let's take, oh here, there we go. So we're place like, not places. The uh, field name is place uh, as we've seen here. So just a small error there that's uh, made our application uh, useless. Let's go ahead and refresh and just test this. So CH, uh, you can see now it says your search for CH returned two results. If I go ahead and type something like London, uh, that's now returned one result. Notice that the S has disappeared. Uh, if I go ahead and search for just L, it returns six results. So we've got that suffix S on there. So now that we've got that working, let's just go ahead and make the search term bold, uh, as well as the um, result count as well. and that will just make that look a bit nicer. So let's search for London. You can see that we now have this uh, updated value and the result count returned to us. So now all that's left to do is actually return the results themselves. Let's go down and create a while loop. And inside this, we want to uh, create a variable that's gonna hold the row data. So this is going to be result or results row. And that's going to be equal to MySQL fetch associative array. And this will take an array from the search field here. Uh, and then we can output uh, some more uh, some information based on each result. So I'm not going to go ahead and explain this too much because it's uh, irrelevant. Uh, but we'll go ahead and return these results anyway. OK, so we want to go ahead and echo out. And we're going to have each result inside paragraph tags. So for example, if we just typed in result here, uh, this will create a result text for each result we have. So for example, London, we've got one result. CH, we've got two results. And L, we have six results. So now what we all, all we need to do is fill in the unique data here based on each result's value. So inside of our paragraph tags, uh, we want to first of all return the uh, place, the name of the place. So inside strong tags, uh, in here, we want to go ahead and replace uh, this with results row. And remember, results row is now an array because MySQL fetch a sock returns an array. 
So inside square brackets, we want to put the field name that we want to take from the database, which is place. So we can write place. So this will be working as it is. We just need to go and test this now. So we're going to type in London. You can see your search for London returned one result, and we have the field name there, uh, or the uh, field, uh, the row data that corresponds to the place field. Uh, let's go ahead and type L. You see that returns all of them that have an L in them. Uh, and then we can go ahead and type CH, and we've got that Manchester and Chorley results just there. So now what we can do is just break down, not an S there. We can break down and go ahead and output the description as well. So let's just output using exactly the same results row description. So let's go back and refresh, type in London, and you can see the description has been uh, appended to that as well. Uh, again, if we type L, we get a list of results. So in actual fact, uh, we've now completed the application. Uh, we have a limited amount of jQuery code that we actually need to focus on. Uh, however, it's extremely important to note that combining things like key up event, uh, grabbing a value and submitting it uh, allows you to return uh, some data to a particular area on your page. So it makes it extremely easy to create something as dynamic as this. Uh, the web nowadays is is going on to you know faster searching. Google now uses um, I believe jQuery to actually go ahead and display results as you type them. So implementing something like this in your website is extremely effective and easy, especially in jQuery, uh, to return code that you might existing uh, well that you might have already on your website. So just by using this and this jQuery code and just creating a small div here, uh, we're able to return results uh, as we search for them.